An incredible story of survival and resilience and power. It was 30 years ago today when J.C. Dugard disappeared in South Lake Tahoe. It began as a desperate search turned into a cold case and then an ending. It took the nation and really the world by surprise. Yeah, CBS 13's Marley Ginter talked with the El Dorado County DA who remembers taking the call that JC had been found alive. Marley. Well, Elizabeth and Tony, can you imagine a gut wrenching story turned unbelievable, one no one could ever have imagined? Not only did he walk me through the twists and turns of the case, but tells me they recently questioned her kidnapper about another abduction. June 10th, 1991, the beginning of an 18 year nightmare for JC Lee Dugard. She's very resilient and she's a survivor. I mean, I just think there's no other way to put it. El Dorado County District Attorney Vern Pearson knows the story well. Dugard kidnapped by Philip Garrido and his wife Nancy as she walked to the bus stop in South Lake Tahoe. Pearson remembers getting the call when Dugard was found years later in 2009. To find out that the, the you know, the little girl that was 11 years old, 30 years ago today, who disappeared for all that time and that she's still alive. It was fantastic to, to get that news and, and learn that, but um, it, was, it was pretty surprising. Especially surprising considering the unspeakable horrors she endured, held hostage, sometimes in a shed or even tent, repeatedly raped, and even forced to bear Garrido's children, one when she was just 14 years old and another when she was 17. He'd only recently gotten out of prison for a prior uh, a kidnap rape. Um, and, uh, you know, they're about as bad as it gets. Pearson says they actually went back and interviewed Phil Garrido fairly recently on another abduction case that he turned out not to be involved in, but a lot changing in 30 years in hopes of solving and preventing child abductions. Oh, yeah, the forensic work has changed so dramatically. Communications between law enforcement. Uh, there's a number of different things in terms of identifying when someone goes missing and tracking that technology has changed dramatically. Now, meantime, Dugard continues to amaze and inspire. She's since written two best-selling books, meets often with law enforcement to help create more victim-focused awareness among officers, all while running the JC Foundation, helping families through a major life crisis. Elizabeth. Wow, what incredible strength. Thanks, Marley.